It is the Con Air Double Ceramic Triple Barrel Waver, okay? Back in my day, they used to call it Scrimper, now it's called Waver. Katie here from Meet the Maskies. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching our channel. Um, it's been a while, I know. I apologize, holidays, you know, we haven't really been going anywhere, so I haven't really had any new things to share. But for Christmas, I did want a crimper. I know, super weird, right? But my husband had no idea what to get me, and I really had no idea what to even tell him to get me. So I ended up just ordering this from Amazon, and my package came today. And here it is. So I just unboxed it. It is the Con Air Double Ceramic Triple Barrel Waver, okay? Back in my day, they used to call it Scrimper, and now it's called a Waver. Um, I did a lot of searching on Amazon and kind of looked through the reviews. I wanted to look for one that was appropriate for my shorter hair, but also wasn't gonna give me little tiny kinks. Um, literally like back in the 80s. So I wanted something to give a, a good kind of wave, but still have that um, kind of cool crimpy feel to it. So we are going to test this out. I am in no way affiliated with this. I am also not a hairdresser. I'm just a normal person that likes to test out some products and try these things out. So I am bringing you along for the ride. Um, if this works well and we like it, I will drop the link to this product in the, um, in the description below. If not, then, you know, we'll just see what it's like at the end of the video. Uh, my hair is, I will let you know, my hair is about, I wanna say it's two or three days not washed. So it is a little dirty, which my hair does hold curl typically better when it's dirty. So I will use a little bit of dry shampoo. This just happens to be what I have. Um, it's Aquage, I think. I don't even know how to pronounce it, but I've been using this and I really like it. It's actually almost gone, so we'll see what I can get there. And then I do love the um, Sexy Hair Surfer Girl Dry Texture Spray. My hair girl recommended this. Um, love the smell of it. Basically, I just kind of lift at the root and I spray it on there, let it dry a little bit, and then just kind of work my fingers in there and it gives it some great volume. It also works a little bit like a dry shampoo because it is a dry texture spray. So I really, really like this. I can drop this in the description as well if you're interested. I'm going to go ahead and prep my hair, get this bad boy plugged in, and let's see what it'll do. Okay, so she has been plugged in and warming up. And here's the cool thing. So yes, it's a triple barrel. I'm not gonna touch that because it's warm now, but there is 30 heat settings on this. It starts at one. It's got a little dial here that you just kind of twist to the proper. There's a little arrow then that tells you where you're at. So it starts at one and then it goes five, 10, 15, all the way up to 30. And the nice thing is that there is this really great little chart on the back of the box that tells you which setting is proper for your hair type. I consider my hair more thin, uh, so the proper heat setting would be medium between six and 10. If you do have fragile or fine hair, it's, you wanna keep it low from one to five, and then it goes all the way up. You know, If you have medium normal hair or wavy curly hair or coarse thick hair, you can go to the maximum of 30. But I'm going to, because I've never used this product before um, and I have no idea what it's gonna do, I'm gonna keep it kinda low and hope that it still gives me a good wave in my hair. I'm gonna keep it set kind of right in between that five to 10 range. Um, so we'll see. Now there is this button on here. When I turned it on, there's a power button, but there's also another button that says turbo. I thought, what in the world is that? On the back of the box, it explains that the turbo heat is a burst of heat up to 27 degrees Fahrenheit for difficult to style spots. Interesting. So I definitely know when I'm curling my hair, there's some spots sometimes like in this area, I don't know why, that just don't like to curl at all. So that might be come in handy, you know, I don't know. We'll see. But I have sprayed my dry texture spray in and I have uh, gotten my dry shampoo in. I'm going to go ahead and section this part of the top of my hair and start with the kind of like underneath part. And uh, let's see how this goes. Just do a little clip here. And uh, we'll see. So, let's 
starting with this section here. Um, this part, just so you know, I know I mentioned this in my last video, I had the kind of like little undercut shaved section here, and this is my grow out. It's not too bad, but I usually just tuck that behind my ear and don't do much with that right now while it's still in the grow out phase. All right, so I'm gonna grab a sort of small-ish section of it, and here we go. I'm assuming I hold it. Okay, not much there. Maybe I need a little bit more heat. Let's see. Clamp it on. I'm gonna hold it for a few seconds and move it down. Okay, that got a little bit better. Let's try this section again here. Maybe I took too much. Maybe I didn't hold it long enough. I, you definitely can't touch it because it is like I kind of went to go like touch this and it's hot. It is definitely hot. All right, so there's that. And here's the little end section. Oh, hey, okay. There we go. Now that's a little bit better. Now I feel like I need to do this underneath part here. I'm just grabbing a section clamping this on and then kind of moving to the end of it. Now my hair is shorter, so it's only taking really like two sections at a time right now. Oh, okay. All right, there we go. Not bad. Um, but if you have longer hair, obviously that'll probably take a little bit um, longer of a section that you need, or it might take maybe three clamps instead of two. All right, so here we go. Clamping on one, holding it, and I'm gonna move it down. All right, I'm gonna keep moving this layer and then I will unclip and we'll do the top. So I'm gonna speed this up just so you're not bored and keep going. Okay, so now I have kind of dropped down one more layer. I usually do about three layers of my hair, kind of the underneath and then this middle section and I leave this front top part for last. So let's see how this looks. It is hot. I probably could maybe go a little bit um, more heat to it, but I'm just a little worried about, you know, making it too hot. So I'm gonna leave it at the heat setting that it is for now and see how this works. I do feel like it's getting a good wave though. Okay, there we go, we're getting something, we're getting there, we're getting there. All right, I feel like that's too much. I'm gonna go a little bit less. I do think with my hair, when I grab too much hair, I notice that it doesn't want to curl then. So I'm trying to keep that a little conservative. I'm literally just clamping my hair in there, holding it for a few seconds, and then releasing it. All right, let's grab that piece. And because my hair is shorter, it's really kind of only taking about two clamps. Um, but if you have longer hair, then it'll probably take a little bit more than that. We'll see. It's definitely a different curl than an actual like curling iron. All right, I'm going to keep moving through, so I'll speed this up. time to move on to the top layer. This is always the layer I get the most nervous about because this is what everybody sees basically. So I'm doing the same thing. Uh, I'm trying to get as close to the root as I can. It is hot all the way around though. I'm finding that that's a little difficult for me because I like to, I don't know why I hold the end of it. 
I don't know why. I guess it's like a weird habit, but, um, and I, you can't touch that. It's definitely hot. So I'm just trying to work through that, but it's all right. Looking cute. I, I'm okay. All right. We'll see here. I know I've got spots in the back that I'm probably going to have to redo or that I haven't gotten yet. Um, so I will probably take some time to do that with my mirror. Um, but I'm going to keep working on this top layer. Okay, so I'm going to, this isn't bad actually, it's kind of cute. I definitely need to go through and kind of fix some pieces and spray it. I haven't put anything in it, um, but look at the volume. It's definitely adding some more volume to my hair. So I'm gonna go and mess with this a little bit more, kind of fix the ends a little bit and put some, um, I'll probably use my Frenzy. I do love this. It's just a texture, um, texturizing paste. So I'll probably put this in just to separate it a little bit more and obviously I'll spray it, but um, I'll be back with my finished product. There you have it. Okay, I, here's the final product. I, you know, it's totally a different look for me, but I am loving this volume. Totally different. Um, I did use my Kenra hairspray. I do love this product. Um, and just kind of fluffed. I do like the what little one ear tuck. I don't know. I just always do that. And I, okay, pros and cons. Let's talk about that. Pros and cons. Um, I did end up using the little turbo uh, button. So that was a nice pro that they added that feature. There was a couple of spots in the back that just didn't want to kink. So I put that little button on, it made the light turn green. And that's when I knew that that turbo feature was on and I could feel the stronger heat coming from it. Um, another pro is it was fairly easy to use. Um, you know, you just clamp it on and keep moving down your hair strand. Pretty easy. Uh, a, a con to me, I would say, so that was a pro. A con was, um, it was kind of heavy. You know, like as I was doing it and holding my hair, I don't know how long I'm supposed to hold it, but my arm was getting tired. As you could see in probably some of the video, I kept, you know, bringing my other hand in. So that was kind of a little bit of a con. Um, also, I didn't like that you can't touch the end. I don't know, maybe that's just me, but these are ceramic too, so they're hot. You cannot touch them. I don't know. There was just a couple of times when I felt like maybe even back here, like I just wanted to like hold it with both hands or something. Um, and then also another con for me is maybe it's just me because I am a lefty, as you can tell, but I kept like clicking the little, hear that? I kept clicking that with my thumb when I was, you know, moving it in certain areas. So I don't know if that's just me holding it funny and I need to just work on that or if it's a lefty thing or what, that was just a weird little thing I noticed. And it was a, it was kind of difficult to do the back of my hair. Um, so hopefully my 360 photos, the back looks okay, but it was definitely a little bit more difficult to do in the back. A pro though is that this was only like 20 or 25 bucks. So pretty good value for getting the job done, I will say that. Um, I know that there's some really expensive ones out there. I am not necessarily loyal to any one brand or the other. Again, I'm not like any kind of ambassador or whatever, the affiliate or whatever. I'm not working with, with Con Air by any means, but for 20 or 25 bucks, this was worth getting to test out and you know give myself a little bit of a different look. I will definitely continue to play with this and test it out and try it, but I love the volume. The volume is amazing, easy to use, and for a good value, it gets the job done. So I say this is a plus. I will drop the link to the Amazon purchase uh, in the comments or in the uh, description below. And if you love this video, subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe to Meet the Maskies. I will continue to do some more testing. Let me know, leave a comment. Let me know what you wanna see. Thank you everybody.